G'day YouTube, so trying to make something cool today. Look at these long, thin, nice, soft leads that I got off banggood.com. I bought off banggood.com, clarify. And these little boards, I think they come off eBay. I'll see if I can find a link to the banggood ones anyway. But this little board has a micro USB in, there, and a potentiometer and then an output on the other side and this will put out off 5 volts anywhere up to 30 volts so what you can do with this is put 5 volts in through your micro USB and trickle charge get some alligator clips so we're just going to solder this up and uh, we'll just play around and see what we can do with it alright so i got them soldered up nice and easy now these I bought these cables, they actually come with um, banana plugs on the end of them. And I really only wanted the alligator clips and the banana plugs separate because I figured the cables would be pretty shitty and skinny. So, And they were. They're not no good for the lab power supply or the LiPo charger. But um, a couple of alligator clips. It's just failed. Right, I'll fix that, I'll be back. Okay then, got them fixed up. Got our board soldered on. I'll get some strain relief on that, I'll probably loop them over and put a bit of glue on them like that so that they're safely restrained. Alright, we've got the fault meter in here. I've got this. Um, micro USB cable that's running off my housemate's charge controller. I've got him set up with a small off grid thing. We'll do a video about that one day. Show you what we've got running off it. Alright, so we've got 16.24 volts there now. Now I want to be able to charge a 12 volt car battery, lead acid battery, whatever. Fourteen point five sounds pretty good to me. All right, I'll just get some uh, couple of six volts lead acids I've got kicking around and uh, put them together on it. All right, I've done the old famous change my mind. I've right, got this here sealed lead acid. We'll just check the voltage in the sealed lead acid before we connect to it because there's not many protections. And these little boards, it's either they're working or they're not. 12.64. Well, that straight away working. better than expected. We might just disconnect it and we'll plug the, uh, I've got an inline amp hour meter that we can plug into the uh, power source of the USB over here and see what it's actually doing. But you see that? It's come up pretty quick. Raise the voltage in the battery nicely. Alright. Put the meter back. Oh, we're pulling two amps out of the USB to do this little board's making a little bit of temperature stabilizing down to about 1.8 so two amps at 5 volts is one amp at 10 volts take another 20% off is 800 milliamps at 12 volts, we're at 14, so take about 600 milliamps roughly before inefficiencies. And that's not that hot, I can still touch that, so that's that's good. I'll just show you the little meter I've got. Yeah, 
So top left corner you've got voltage, top right corner, time, top bar, bottom left, current amperage, and milliamp hours over here. We've got my housemate, all my housemate stuff running in there. It's got lights and a fridge and a bunch of USB chargers. Only on this little bank here. Just those eight sealed air acids. We've got to connect up a few bigger ones for him, but hasn't been done yet. I don't think he's run it flat yet. I believe the USB loop for that probably runs out of the input side, which is cool. Put you back in your holder. Yeah, it's getting a little bit on the warm side. Might save it from itself for a moment. Hmm. Let's take this all outside and connect it to the Blitzwolf solar blanket. Let's see if we can use the solar blanket to charge a 12 volt battery, even though it's made as a USB power source. Alright, so I'll try it a couple of times to get a good clip outside, but windy today. All you could hear was the wind, so uh, in the daughter's bedroom, got the uh, Blitzworth 28, 28 watt panel out, the uh, load tester in it, got 12.66 volts in the battery, as of now, put our little board on. micro USB is plugged in and we are away and charging check the current meter I can't see because it's in the sun so ironic well, I can just see it it's the same we're getting like Two amps run through it, which is too much. Alright, so in a bit of an effort to use up some of the solar we've got too much of. Ha! <laughs> big issue. We've got a uh, USB power bank. It's only half charged, charging away there. Put our voltage back on our battery. 12.69. Put our cable back on. See if I can see this little thing again. And we're still getting two amps out of it. You know what? It's getting warm. I'm thinking about leaving it and seeing if it lets the smoke out or not. Four point nine. Ideally you need two of these. A couple of these in parallel would be mint. So yeah, it's probably probably gonna cook and kill itself. So we won't uh we won't continue, we'll leave it as it is for the time being. What I plan to do is I'm gonna buy some more of these. I'll find you a link and post it in the video description. We'll get some more of these and uh, we'll solder them up in like in a railed bank because you don't have to actually use the USB so you've got voltage in on each side which is connected in parallel with the USB and then out as well so we could quite quite easily just like the TP45 4056s um, you can bank them together pretty easily so I'll get some more of these set all the output voltages independently bank them all together and make a big version of this that can handle the kind of power we want to put out because uh, this thing's putting two amps out through this USB 
and that charge board there is actually getting warm, so it's actually putting out. Oh, wow. It's getting quite warm. So that's actually pushing out good power as well, which is awesome. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. There'll be a link to where you can buy one of these, and um, when you buy one of these through the, the uh, Blitzwolf 28 watt folding solar panel, through my uh, affiliate link, you will help the channel as well. And I can buy more cool stuff and test it and blow it up so uh, you don't have to pay money for it and blow it up yourself. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Catch you on the next video.